guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with more of this cardi b drama at first i thought this war between cardi b and offset was a publicity stunt it could still very well be a publicity stunt but it's getting really ugly so it may not be a publicity stunt you guys can judge for yourself I have all their videos in the back and forth comments between Cardi B and Offset and also Cardi B just posted a screenshot of their text messages. Oh my goodness. So Cardi B and Offset are really all at war. Let's just put all this publicity stunt to the side because you just never know. Well, Cardi B went on Instagram Live yesterday and began airing out Offset's dirty laundry and Offset responded with a comment on Cardi B's live where he accused her of having SEX while pregnant. You effed with a baby inside, tell the truth. He commented. Cardi B went on to go on live two more times, telling fans about Offset's infidelities and his desperate attempts to get back at her. He again responded, this time in the comment section of an Instagram blog about Cardi's life. He says, the fact you keep going shows you hurt. Leave alone. Don't you got a, don't you got an N word? Like, don't you got a dude pretty much. So don't, you, wait again. The fact you keep, the fact you, the fact that you keep going shows you hurt. Leave alone. Don't you got a N word? And we divorce? He posted, everybody can see, I don't want you. It's okay. I'm not talking about this no more. It's all love. You will be calling me after a couple of months. You my baby mama. I won. You see? Wow. Then Cardi B commented, LMAO, coming from the same one who had to DM me all weekend, crashing out because he was blocked hurt because I was going to Paris? He write, it will be my last time talking about his lame ASS. She then exposed text messages from Offset where he asked her, you don't want me? And concludes by asking if he can pleasure himself with her on the phone. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so here are the text messages. Offset message. You don't want me? Cardi B replied, not really. Yeah, she lying. Then he messaged, okay, you want somebody else? Then Cardi B said, offset, please. And then offset texted, okay, I'll leave you alone. Oh my gosh, typical narcissist. Remind me of someone. <laughs> and then she wrote, please, have a good night. And then, Cardi and then offset wrote, I just wanted to know, you see? You see the games? And then the next day, at 8.09 in the morning, Offset texted, Can I j j j off with you on the phone? Then a question mark. <laughs> so before I play the videos, right? He left a comment and he called her insecure. He called Cardi B insecure. And when he said, Everybody can see I don't want you. And it was like, We've been saying this. You know, so for him to say this out loud, I mean, one thing, I mean, actions is louder than words, right? But not only has he been showing it through actions, but to say it, to say it now, so it's like, wow. So Cardi B better move on after this, after what he just said to everybody. He's saying, everybody can see I don't want you. So if she can if she doesn't move on from this after all this, then I don't know. Because in the video that I'm about to play, she said that he even tried to FaceTime her, trying to show, you know, her who he's effing with, all the girls he's effing with. Like what kind of man and this was that's supposed to be her husband. Well, we all know he was never into her. This was a business marriage from the start. He never really liked Cardi B. Seriously, he never liked Cardi B. His management put them together, and then his management became her management. Okay, that was the plan the whole time. 
And she fell for him, but he never fell for her like that because he never liked her like that. It was all a business arrangement. So that's why he was able to just treat her like that. This guy always looked unhappy. Cheating on her left and right. That's sick. And then for you to try to call her, try to FaceTime her, to show her who you effing with, like, come on, that's low. And she's like, I don't care, I don't care. So she didn't, you know, she declined it. She's not trying to see all that. She said she's not trying, even though, you know, she's hurt. She's hurt because she really, really, truly loved him. But on her, on, on his end, he didn't feel the same way. And for you to try to FaceTime her so you could show her who you effing, all these women, no, that's low. That's low. So, yeah, so he's finally coming clean, you see? Always was denying all these stuff. But we knew because we saw all these things. These women, I mean, she even caught a case. A case over this guy. Beating up some, she had her people, her blood gang members. Beat up this lady, Jade. At the bar, throwing bottles, men and women, gang members. Throwing bottles at the girl. Because Offset could not keep his thing in his pants. So instead of leaving him, she wanted to attack the women. She had her people attack the other women. When it's him, who's the problem? She's married to him, not the other women. So why beat up the other women? When it's him, you should have handled, you should have divorced a long time ago. But no. So in the video, you're going to hear her say, oh, you know, you try to FaceTime me, trying to show me who you effing. And these women must not be, these women, P-U-S-S-Y must not be all that because you're calling me. Ah, uh, Cardi B, first of all, he's only playing with you because he know he can. And so to say that these women, P-U-S-S-Y must not be all that, then Cardi B, that's all we've been saying to you this whole time he was cheating on you. I mean, you rap about having this WAP, having a wet this, this, that, and then this dude can't keep your, their hands up. But yet yeah, this guy was cheating on you the whole time. So, <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, huh? And he's only doing that because he want his cake and he want to eat it too. And he knows he can always come back whenever he wants. And he knows he has this rich, idiotic wife, you know, insecure as heck, that he can play with whenever. So, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't keep saying, well, you know, you're calling me because there's other women, the P-S-S-Y must not be all that. Cardi B, please. This guy was cheating on you the entire time that you guys were married. So by you saying that, it's not giving what you think it's giving. It's really not giving what you think it's giving. So with all that being said, you guys check out the videos. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. What them fine niggas? What trying to find niggas? I've been cuffed up too long. Let me remind niggas. Yo, when I tell you, Nick, the narcissism is all time high and you know what's so crazy i really be feeling like when people be saying like narcissists narcissists niggas is narcissists and everything i be like do y'all even know what that word mean but now i really do see what's a fucking narcissist you know what's so crazy i find it so crazy right you know what i find so crazy that a nigga think that they could just buy a bitch you know what i'm saying I love me shit, but you can buy you can buy me no more, motherfucker. And I, and it's so crazy that a nigga think that that's enough. It's not enough, honey. It's just not enough. And you know what's so funny too? I find it funny that niggas think that they could fuck on anything. But when I when I start talking to niggas, you wanna threat me with taking shit that I fucking work my ass off for. You want to play those games with me? We're going to play them games too. We're going to play them games too. Since you want to fucking threaten me, take, talking about you want to take my shit? You want to take my shit because I'm moving on? Move on. Move on. Why can't you move on? Why can't you move on?
It's no fun when, when, when mama got the gun, right? It's no fun when I'm slanging pussy, right? Hmm. Now it's because it's 2 a.m. and I have a lot of things to do tomorrow. One more motherfucking thing before I get the fuck on out of here, all right? I just want to let I just want to let motherfuckers know one good shit, right? I don't give a fuck if a nigga talking about, oh, I'm going to expose you. Oh, I'm going to put them text messages that I saw through your phone. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I will expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. I don't care. You should be happy. You know what you should be? You, you know what you should be happy? You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day. I'm a real gangster ass bitch and I'm a solid bitch. So one thing I'm not going to do to you ever is entertaining them. Your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my pussy. I will never do that because the op to you is a nigga that wants you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the fuck out of you. Out of you. My kids love you down. So I will never do that. And I really follow gangster. I really follow street codes. I will never be a lame ass bitch that fuck with a nigga op just to get back. No nigga, I don't have to do that shit. I just got to fuck a nigga that's better than you. However, I don't give a fuck. You can expose whatever the fuck you want to expose, nigga. I expose it myself. Fuck it out of here. I told you when a Libra start libra we really don't give a fuck. Now, goodbye. Yo, let me tell you, this nigga is such a fucking lame. He's so lame, it's not even funny. So, so we're texting and everything, and he's trying to FaceTime me. He's trying to FaceTime me because he's trying to show me, like, trying to hurt my feelings. He's trying to show me the girls that he been, I guess, fucking or talking to. And it's like, nigga, I don't care. I don't care, nigga. <laughs> I don't care. At the end of the day, they pussy must, must not be that good that you was fucking up. You was blowing up my phone all weekend. All weekend, you was blowing up my phone. I blocked you. I blocked you. Even though I know you was going to go to Atlanta, and I was like, I bet. I I didn't want to know what you was doing out there. I told you, I blocked. You was calling me all private numbers all morning. You was calling my mama, everything. So it's like, you trying to show me, trying to get me mad. Like, oh, oh, oh let me show you the bitches I'm fucking. Let me show you the bitches in my DMs. Uh -huh, I'm going to hurt her feelings. I don't care. I don't care. That pussy must not be hitting. That you still calling my shit. Trying to get trying to get your lick back. Trying to do your big lick back. I don't care. You're fucking lame. And them bitches is lame too. You want to know why? Because you got to fuck them bitches in order to get your ego to feel high. You know, I'm too much. I'm too. I'm too. I'm too much woman for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm too much of a boss bitch for you. And I've always been too good for you. I've been too good for you. I've been too good for anything that is associated to you. So you got to fuck other bitches to make yourself feel better. Because I make you feel so low about yourself. Because I don't make you feel like I'm, you're that nigga in this home. So that's what you got to do. So you out here trying to hurt my feelings because you fucking the next bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because them hoes ain't, pussy ain't good enough that I be having you crashing out. All weekend. You was mad happy today when I fucking called you today. And the only reason why I, got, I, I called you today is because I'm trying to change my son's school. And I need your approval. Other than that, nigga, fuck you. I don't care. Fuck the world. Fuck my ops. I'm going to fuck your ops. Uh, that's why I'm fucking your ops. Yeah, of course, because you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't move with integrity. You're not a street nigga. That's what you do. That's what you do. Oh, I'm going to go fuck your ops. Go, go, go. Boo-hoo, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You can fuck my ops. You can fuck my friends, nigga. I don't give a shit. You're lame to me, and you will never equate to me. And it's crazy that I even, I even let you. I even let you even play with me for such a fucking long time. Because you're not even, you're not even a, 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 a real right nigga for me. I make you look good, nigga. Fuck you. Huh, look at the bitch I'm fucking. Fuck you. I don't care. Look at the bitches that I'm fucking. Uh, I'm going to fuck all your ups. I'm going to fuck her. Matter of fact, oh, look at this. I don't want to see it. So what? You was going to fuck them anyways, nigga. All you got to do is get fucking drunk. And them bitches going to throw you that pussy. 
for five for two thousand. Bitches gotta survive out here. Bitches gotta survive out here, nigga. Oh, oh, now I'ma fuck them bitches. Now I'ma fuck bitches. Okay, you could do that. You was gonna do it regardless. You go to a club and you you probably get drunk. You give them bitches two thousand and you was gonna fuck them regardless. Them hoes gotta survive. These hoes is hungry out here. We in a recession, baby. Them hoes gotta get fucked. They gotta get paid. Do that. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, watch what I'm going to do to you. Watch what I'm a, this, that, blah, blah, blah. You already done it all. You already done it all. You already done it all. You done it all. You done it all. You done it all. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing surprises me. You done it all. So I don't care. I don't. Thank you for my kids, though. All three of them. I don't regret none of them. But I regret you. I don't regret my kids. You're good, daddy. You all right. I don't regret them. N- not none of them. Not none of them. But fuck you. I regret you. I'm too good for you. I've always been too good for you. You know I'm too good for you, nigga. And I don't, and I don't ever, 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 I never even wanted to get on this social media because I don't want to turn off the next nigga off because this is not my type of shit. This is not my type of shit. I don't ever want the next nigga to ever think that I'm a messy bitch, but you want to be a messy nigga and do petty shit because you hurt? All right, we going to do it then. Let's go lick for lick. Let's go wrong for wrong. Let's go hit for hit. Fuck you. I told you, leave me the fuck alone.